Welcome back everybody, my name is Legit Lee, and I'm making this video because I had a subscriber send me a comment. He was having issues trying to get um, the Marlin firmware uploaded, I think, to his motherboard. The It may have been the Adreno Mega, the 2560. So I have pretty much the same chipset for this motherboard. I bought two of the MKS Gen L version 1.0 motherboards because they use that chipset. The Arduino Mega 2560 with the ramps 1.4. So this motherboard can hold up to 12 to 24 volts. So I have made my own version of Merlin on the Arduino IDE for my CNC machine over here. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys how you can upload the code and everything. I saved the file off of my desktop onto this flash drive so that way I can put it put the firmware onto this mother, new mo motherboard. So first I'm going to plug this in and then I'll show you guys the uh, some of the code. It's going to say Blender CNC for the name of the um, machine. So I'm going to show you guys all that right now. Let me just plug this in and then I'll get the Arduino IDE up and running so you guys can see everything. Alright guys, so I got the USB drive inside of my laptop here and you can see right there it says US... Uh, ESD USB D so if I click on that this will probably be like a two like a two or three part video so this is gonna be just me showing you guys basically how to get things started so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna save this file onto my hard drive on the laptop so first I'm going to put it on my desktop so you guys can see that so I'm going to move this over and then I'll grab the Merlin firmware that I have and then I'll just right click copy and then I'll put it onto my desktop so I'm going to right click I don't know what's going on it's taking a little long to load for some reason sometimes this happens but um it's not a bad laptop or anything it's just a little glitchy I guess but um I'm gonna hit paste and it's copying there it goes so now we got the same file copied over to my desktop so now I'm gonna close out the USB file and now I'm gonna open up my regular desktop um, file that I got so now I'm gonna go over to bring it down a little bit so you guys can see I gotta find the Arduino IDE INO so if I go down a little bit you'll be able to see it sort of pop up it'll look blue I think like a little blue circle sorry if this is taking too long but this stuff can be important that's why I'm gonna have to make part videos so that, that way they're not too long for you so I hope you guys are liking part one a little bit and that you will like to watch part two I don't know how many parts this is gonna be but I'll figure it out when I start uploading the videos to YouTube for everybody to see it and I am planning on hopefully getting a MKS. Not I had two MKS boards, but I plan, I hope that I'm gonna be getting soon a Arduino Mega with the ramps shield. And it's gonna have the full graphics display too. So I hope that comes in soon. I don't know exactly when it's gonna show up, but I will definitely let you guys see it okay so there it goes so say i told you it's going to be a little bit like a blue so if i click on that that'll open up 
So let's give it a second to load and I'll start to pull up here in a second. And I'm not sure what version of the Arduino IDE I have on this laptop right now. It could be the newest one or it could be a little older. Because I don't remember if I got a, a newer version on here or not. But I do have the newest version on my desktop so it's kind of hard to remember. Because I be using my desktop a lot for like stuff like this. And then my laptop when I need to be doing work like I'm in my um, shed or inside of my porch or even on my in my room sometimes. But I am trying my hardest to get back into I call it my Iron Man mode because I was really smart way back in the day and I was able to do so much. So I'm trying to remember everything that I was forgetting and what I don't really fully remember right now so I am getting there because I just fixed my wife's sister's son's <laughs> that's a lot to say but I fixed his PlayStation 4 the other day so I was able to I am getting back into electronics pretty good I don't know why it's taking so long to up uh, come up let me just right click it and press open IDE click on that but um yes what I'll do since this is taking a little bit of time here I'll cut this video out for a second and then I'll um get to this part two here in a short second as soon as everything pulls up I don't know why the Arduino IDE is taking so long to come up but I don't think it's my laptop. I just think that there's some kind of loading pausing or something. So um, I hope you guys like the video. Please like, share, subscribe. And hopefully to my subscriber that said that he was having issues, these videos should help you out, man. Because I am still a little there. Like I'm not 100% at 100% of my memory right now because of that motorcycle accident that I had but I am getting there like I'm able to start fixing things and I've been uploading videos pretty much like every week almost so I am trying to get back into it it's just a little hard to remember everything so it's just going to take me some time I guess Oh, but um, please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.